on those days when we feel a little out of tune, a little less than what we think we see or hear in others, I would ask us, especially the youth of the Church, to remember it is by divine design that not all the voices in God's choir are the same. It takes variety, sopranos and altos, baritones and basses, to make rich music. To borrow a line from the cheery correspondence of two remarkable Latter-day Saint women, all God's critters got a place in the choir. Now, this is not to say that everyone in this divine chorus can simply start shouting his or her own personal oratorio. Diversity is not cacophony, and choirs do require discipline. For our purpose today, Elder Hales, I would say discipleship. Believe in yourself and believe in Him. Don't demean your worth or denigrate your contribution. Above all, don't abandon your role in the chorus. Why? Because you're unique. You're irreplaceable. The loss of even one voice diminishes every other singer in this great mortal choir of ours. But I plead with each one of us to stay permanently and faithfully in the choir. Fortunately, the seats for this particular number are limitless. There is room for those who speak different languages, celebrate diverse cultures, and live in a host of locations. There's room for the single, the married, for large families, and for the childless. There is room for those who once had questions regarding their faith and room for those who still do. There is room for those with differing sexual attractions. In short, there is a place for everyone who loves God and honors His commandments as the inviolable measuring rod for personal behavior. Come as you are, a loving Father says to each of us, but He adds, don't plan to stay as you are. We smile and remember that God is determined to make of us more than we thought we could be.